Hi friends, welcome to our channel Global Health Helpline. Now we are going to learn about a homeopathic medicine Grashula from the book Lectures on Homeopathic Materia Medica by James Tyler Kent. Please subscribe the channel. Let's begin. Grashula. It is a great remedy for nervous prostration, marked lassitude, with mental and bodily weakness. It is closely related to coffea cruda and nux vomica and especially useful for the weakness of the will and neuralgic pains in coffee drinkers. In hypochondria and in the female it has melancholia and nymphomania. Convulsive conditions without loss of consciousness. Complaints are better in the open air, but he is chilly in a warm room like pulsatilla. Complaints predominate on the left side, constant vaporous exhalations from the body. Cataral conditions of the stomach and intestines with spasmodic ailments. There is a lack of willpower and aversion to work, mental depression and capriciousness. He is very irritable and hypochondriacal, fear of the future. Complaints from pride. Bad effects from coffee and alcohol. Nervous complaints associated with stomach and bowel troubles. Vertigo during and after eating, on closing the eyes, while reading, on rising from a seat, on motion, vertigo with cerebral hyperemia. Heat and fullness of the head, sensation as though the head grew smaller, pulsation in head, in temples, rush of blood to head, after rising from stooping. The head symptoms are better in the open air and worse or come on in warm room. Pain in the occiput in the morning on waking, better rising or lying on the face. Sick headaches, nausea, vomiting or disgust for food, with vertigo, better in the open air. Pain in occiput from sneezing. The head feels cold and is sensitive to cold air. Cold sensation of vertex. Corrugated forehead during the headache. Itching of the scalp, itching of the eyes and ears. Mist before the eyes while reading and green objects appear white. Pain in eyes as from sand, itching in the nose. There is a sensation of burning heat in the face, but it feels cold to the hand. Swelling of the upper lip in the morning. There is a sensation of tension of the face and tingling and it feels swollen. The face is red, the teeth ache from cold things taken in the mouth. Grinding of teeth in brain affections. Pain in the throat, compelling constant swallowing, much mucus in the throat, which he cannot eject. Violent thirst, emptiness in the stomach after eating, emptiness when he does not need or desire food. Craves nothing but bread. Nausea better after eating and by irritations. Wanting of bitter, sour water and mucus. A feeling of anxiety in the stomach. Cramping in the stomach after food and a heavy load that seems to go from side to side as he turns from side to side with nausea and irritation. Distension after eating. Pressure in stomach after eating. Marked coldness in stomach. Cramp and hard aching in stomach. Pain grows rapidly worse and seems to extend to back and kidneys. Cold feeling in abdomen. Cramping like colic with nausea. Rumbling in abdomen with distension in afternoon and evening. Swelling of mesenteric glands. Pinching in abdomen, better by passing flatters. Diarrhea, with copious gushing, yellow or yellowish green, frothy, watery stools, copious watery vomiting and purging, like cholera morbus, copious green watery stools. The diarrhea is brought on from drinking large quantities of water due to the violent thirst. During the diarrhea, he is often sensitive to draft and open air which give him urging to stool. It has cured fully developed, rapid, Asiatic cholera. Green stools and green vomiting, unconscious stools. Before stool, nausea, rumbling, cutting tenesmus. 
during stool nausea burning in rectum straining after stool burning in rectum tenesmus pain in coccyx creeping chills pain in abdomen protrusion of stinging burning hemorrhoids tearing and pricking in anus constriction in anus itching anus ascarides burning in the urethra during and after urination scanty urine becomes turbid on standing unconscious discharge of urine stitching in left spermatic cord to abdomen and chest it is a most useful remedy in the female when there is marked irritability of the sexual organs if the sexual desire is great excited it is one of our best remedies for nymphomania when the desire is so violent that it drives her to secret wise the remedies are gelsemium gracula origanum nux vomica phosphorus platina and zincum the menses are too early and profuse darting pain in right mamma when stooping and during menses wars on rising leucorrhea with pains in sacrum violent palpitation after stool like conium with oppression of chest heat in chest head hands with red face rheumatic pains in upper limbs sore bruised pains in lower limbs after walking tearing in the tibia while sitting better while walking sleepiness after eating deep sleep itching and burning of the skin after scratching thanks for watching full video please like the video and subscribe the channel for next updates